Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you would have guessed from the title, this is about fixing the blurry runway markings. So you can see here that up after I guess the third line, you can't really see much. And even these patches, they're all blurry. And no matter what you kind of do on the in sim settings, it doesn't fix it. I already have the anisotropic filtering up to 16x which is the maximum I can go and I also have super sampling up to 8x8 which is again the maximum it can go. So yeah, it doesn't really fix it. Now I was messing around with NVIDIA control panel yesterday and I figured out a way to fix it. So let me go back to the nvidia control panel and i'll be back with the setting that i used in there and turned anisotropic filtering off in game and you'll see how much better this looks right now to fix this problem leave the sim alone open your nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings go to program settings make sure you've selected microsoft flight simulator here and then go down to anisotropic filtering in here there you go so it says use global setting which is off i'm going to turn that up to 6x and then hit apply ignore all the other settings you don't have to match them with mine i'll do a separate video on you know going over each of my uh, my nvidia control panel settings so don't worry about that for now. Just change this to 16x and then load up the same again. Okay, so after loading in at the same place with the same exact settings, you will see that we are now able to see up to about five or six lines. And we could even see the others if there were no lights here. You can also see these uh, patches are now a lot sharper. So I don't know what's with the in-game anisotropic filtering setting but it just doesn't work as aggressive as the um, control panel filtering setting so now you can pretty much come in here and uh, change this to off and uh, it shouldn't affect your visuals at all in fact you'll have better sharpness of the ground textures with uh, anisotropic filtering being controlled by the nvidia control panel Okay, so that's what I wanted to let you guys know. I was messing around with it last night and figured this out. So yeah, if it helped you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. I've been uploading a lot of videos these days. I've also uploaded about 7 or 8 episodes of the PA28 Aero 3 tutorial series. There's a lot of detail involved in that. So if you're into that kind of aviation content, Please stick around and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you for clicking on this video and watching it. And see you on the next one.